delivered review of the SmartSuit Pro. Okay, so now that that guy's out of here, let's talk a little bit about my thoughts on the SmartSuit Pro now that I've had the opportunity to play around with it a little bit. To start with, I want to give a little anecdote. Years ago, my older son had a birthday party. One of the things at the top of his list was a set of Heelys. I uh, really desperately wanted to get Heelys. So, um, of course, that was something that my wife and I purchased for him. I remember taking him over to the sidewalk. He was super excited. I helped him get the Heelys on. And then I was standing up and like reaching down to help him up and kind of hold his hand as he got the first couple of steps out. But he bounded to his feet. And before I could get my hands on him, he took off and his feet came out from underneath him and he flat back to the deck. It put a quick stop to his uh, Healy adventure for the day. What I realized was that my son thought that the Healy's did all the work. He had seen people flying around on these things and thought that he was going to put them on and be able to do the same thing. But the truth is that it required some skill. The reason that I bring that up is because I've seen a lot of reviews of the SmartSuit Pro, and I've also spoken to a number of my friends within the industry. People are obviously interested in my take on it and how it might be applied to what we do in stunts. And I think that for a lot of people, what they are expecting is a one-click solution. Like, I'm going to put on the suit and the suit's going to do all of the work. Let me just begin this by saying that's a, an unfair expectation of the product. For me, I come from the motion picture industry where optical motion capture is the primary method for obtaining motion capture data. Optical motion capture is prohibitively expensive. Not only that, but it requires a tremendous amount of space. So it's out of the question. It's not something that I'm going to be doing from my house. It's not something that I'm going to even be doing on a sound stage for previous purposes. It requires too much setup, too much time, too many technicians. So coming from this background, I have to say, having the ability to be able to put on a suit in my house in a 10 by 10 area or a five by five area and be able to capture the kinds of things that I am is amazing. The SmartSuit Pro is something that I can do anywhere in the space right over here behind my desk, I can throw the suit on and, and do a, a certain amount of movement. And then also in the gym that I'm uh, blessed to have in my house, uh, there's enough space in there for me to be able to do quite a bit. Um, the majority of the little Kunoichi short that I did was done in, in my gym. This is spectacularly helpful. Now, what doesn't it do? Even though you have the suit, there's certain skill sets that you're still going to need to know within whatever 3D application it is you're using, whether it's you know Cinema 4D or Blender or Unreal or Maya or whatever. Um, it doesn't read your characters for you. It doesn't do weight mapping. Within Cinema 4D, understanding how constraint tags work, how Expresso works in order to have parameters be driven by other parameters, and how keyframe animation works. The motion system within Cinema 4D is a really powerful tool that I make use of, including motion clips and blending between different animations. Knowing the difference between forward kinematics and inverse kinematics, and knowing how to set up IK chains. All of this is just the character side of things, too. We're not talking about environments, modeling techniques, photogrammetry, how texture maps work, the correct formats to use, rendering and rendering and passes, and projection mapping, how depth maps work. There's all kinds of things beyond having the suit. With that having been said, the suit is a gift. I'm used to cobbling together existing motion capture data and piecemealing little bits of information to be able to create a whole. This is what I did with my uh, short power play and what I've done with all of the 3D elements that I've done for previous up, in, up until this point. Um, but that's a, an incredibly time consuming process. And it's so freeing to, to be able to just perform the actions that I need. Previously, the only way that I had to be able to get that kind of custom data was to 
use this super hacky method of using connect cameras, which is what I did for the Rampage previs. But the fidelity that you get out of that was so low. My workaround in that scenario, because it couldn't keep up with my action, was to take the footage that we shot, which the stunt coordinator on the show, Al Poppleton, had counted over the top of in order to keep all of the performers in the same pace. So he would say, and one, and that was the first impact, and two was the next impact, and three, and so on. What I was left with having to do was to take Al's count, put it in the computer, lower the speed by 50%, and then play it back at half speed so that I could hear the audio so that when I was doing the motion capture for the gorilla, I was moving at half the speed that everybody else was. Then once I got that data into the computer, increasing the speed by 100% to bring it back to a speed that matched what everybody had done when we shot it. Pain, it's just a pain in the ass. This is a completely different thing. So when I see certain criticisms about the suit online, I, I kind of go, are you nuts? You're complaining about magnetic interference. Okay, I, sure, but that's not a deal breaker to me. The deal breaker to me would have been if I needed to buy optical motion capture, but I can definitely make use of this and a ton of diff different scenarios. As you can see in the space where I do most of my capture work, I'm kind of surrounded by metal. Um, so yes, there is interference that I'm having to deal with, but I never expected that the, the information that I got from the suit was ever going to be totally pristine. I wasn't going to have to touch it. I was never going to have to do anything with it. The reality is that the suit is a device that gets me 85% of the way there, 90% of the way there. And then I'm going to do additional work after the fact to bring it up to what I need. Is it a one-click solution? No, it's not. But, oh my God, so far beyond uh, what I've done previously. As far as the suit goes, these guys have done a great job. Um, it's a quality suit. Um, the material all feels good. And at the price point, it's the best thing that I've found. Truthfully, I have zero complaints other than one. It feels to me as if the suit were not necessarily sized and engineered for athletes. I'm about five foot eight, 165 pounds. So I, I picked a medium, which is what they had on the site. But um, I have to say, these tabs barely fit me. I get to right there. Um, and it's, you know, after a little while, it starts to kind of choke off the circulation in my arms. And I should say, I, I don't feel like I'm a particularly big guy. In the future, Rococo, if you guys want to make these straps just a little bit bigger, um, because otherwise the suit fits me perfectly. On the one hand, I feel like I probably should have ordered a larger size, but I'm afraid that I would have too much fabric, you know, too much length in the sleeve, too much length in the legs. So ideally speaking, if there was like another two inches in the length of the straps, I'd be like super stoked. So anyway, kudos to the team at, at Rococo. It's an amazing device. I'm enjoying the hell out of using it. I'm going to keep using it and I can see tons of applications for me, both for personal projects and for things that I'm doing in the film industry. More stuff coming.